Good morning everyone and welcome back to our channel. On our last video you guys voted for us to visit Carlos de Jaina and San Martín del Puerto, so... Here we are! <laughs> Today we're going to be visiting Carlos de Jaina, which is known for its hot springs and ceramic pottery. And after lunch we're going to San Martín del Puerto, which I'm really excited to show you because I used to spend my summers there. Our first location is Praça da República. Here you can find the Mercado de Fruta, which is a daily market from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. that sells fruits and veggies from the region. It's the only daily veggies and fruits market that remains almost the same since the 19th century. They also say that they sell here the famous cavaca, so let's find out. Esta é assim, estas até vieram um bocadinho maiores. Normalmente é assim ou ainda mais pequena. <laughs> Now we're moving to Parque Dom Carlos I, so we can try this goodies. So these are the famous cavacas which is a sweet pastry really famous from Caldas de Rainha. This is made of flour and eggs with a crunchy sugar covering. So let's try this. I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> This park is from the 19th century and is right next to the thermal hospital of Queen Leonor. The legend says that the Queen was ill and during a trip between Ovidus and Batalha she saw a lot of people taking a bath on a water that had a really intense smell. That was really odd at the time so she asked what was happening right there. They told her that the water had healing powers and she decided to try it herself and it worked. A year later, she decided to build the thermal hospital right in the same place. And that's how Carlos de Jaina was born. I think I found the best views in the park. Let's go. <laughs> Caldas de Rainha is known for his ceramics. The reason why is because the region has an abundance of clay and that helped develop lots of pottery factories. This is the most famous one. Unfortunately, the lady wasn't so nice and she didn't let us film anything inside. So now we're going to have lunch. It is a traditional restaurant that Maria used to go a lot and it's on our way to San Martín del Puerto. It has huge plates and great quality, so I can't wait. I really like it. It looks it's kind of similar to Jinjinha, which we'll talk about in another video. Sweet. So the lunch was amazing. Wow. <laughs> it was really good. The food was great and they're all super kind. So really kind. It's great. I love to go there. Before we start walking, let's eat my favorite pastry that I used to eat every day when I come here. It's called amphala, which means pillow in English. 
<laughs> and I can't tell you exactly what it's made of, but I'm going to ask and then I'll tell you. The pastry shop that I used to go, it's closed, but it's okay. We're going to find my favorite pastry in another place. We have to, so it's our mission today. We just arrived to Somerton du Port. It's really famous for its bay that is shaped like a seashell. Also, it is really known for being a beach that is perfect for families because the water is calm and has a lot of shops and restaurants nearby. So until I was 11, I would come here every summer, the whole August month. And we are really lucky that it's sunny today because I can tell you that a lot of times it's a little bit grayer. <laughs> look smaller. <laughs> We've stayed at this yellow one for several years. This brings back memories. I used to play here a lot but now this seems way smaller. <laughs> the first floor was like kitchen and living room, the second floor my parents bedroom and my bedroom and my sisters and the upper one for the boys. <laughs> This used to be a really cool street, full of people, full of cafes and places to stay outside and where I bought all my gummies every night. <laughs> and now, I don't know, it's not that well preserved and people don't come here as much, so that's a shame. During the summer, the beach is full of little houses for the people, as you can see in this photo. But now, of course, they take it all off and during the winter, it's just sad. This is an old hotel where they used to do Valdeshit which is like a ball where they need to wear something with this textile which is called shita and it's really known from this region and we already showed you that type of textile in the restaurant we just arrived to this beautiful viewpoint where you can see the contrast between the calm waters of the bay and the aggressiveness of the Atlantic Ocean it's absolutely amazing <laughs> can't see anything through the water because the sand is really thin and it's always like suspending in the water so it's not that it's dirty it's just that the sand is really thin <laughs> now I have a little surprise for do well for you guys too <laughs> <laughs> let's see because it's my favorite spot are you ready to go in or not sure what Careful. You can see the waves from here. Oh my, oh my god. god. Careful with the water. Oh. Just jump. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was a nice surprise. <laughs> 
we just arrived to the dunes and of course we're going up so i'm gonna take my shoes off Fiji. this used to be one of the biggest dunes in europe it has 50 meters of height and 200 meters long i don't do this for a long time but i remember that i had lots of energy and i still get pretty tired so <laughs> let's see about today Oh my god, <laughs> this is a nice workout. I'm old, but the views are spectacular. <laughs> Coming to the top, it's, it's worthy. Right? Yes, it is. tired <laughs> from all the up and down up and down but we still have one more place to go and it has great views so let's check it out and I need to inform you that we failed our mission and we didn't find my favorite pastry <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really sad so this is Praia do Salgado. The waves are way more aggressive and today because it's winter they are especially aggressive so it's beautiful to see. <laughs> That's huge! The sound of the waves is awesome. <laughs> Very impressive. We have the whole beach for us. It's amazing and it's the end of today's vlog so I hope you guys liked it. Yeah, unfortunately you won't be able to vote for our next destination because of COVID measures that say that we cannot leave the county for certain dates but... Don't worry because by then we'll be on one of the most beautiful places in Portugal so we can keep exploring and creating content and Honestly, we couldn't make you choose between this next place or any other place. So I hope you guys liked it and see you next Friday. See you next Friday.